So hi, welcome to how to set up your mobile app to see your NVR. Now that your NVR is set up, we are going to install the app, which is called NVMS 7000. Again, it's called NVMS 7000. You can get it in your Play Store or your Mac Store for apps. So we're going to switch over to the screen to show you how I'm going to do that and we'll walk you through the whole setup process. So switching. Now you should be seeing the app screen and me. Okay, so what we're going to do is, you can see the name of the app is on the top here. This is in the Android store. Your store may look different, but uh, the name should be the same. So we're going to hit install. It may take a few moments to install. And you can see here it says pending, and now it says installing. You can see my mouse moving. Now it says it's installed. So we're going to click open. And it says allow NVMS 7000 to access photos, media, and files on your device. You're going to click allow. You should see that splash screen. Uh, it's going to ask you what region you are. So we know that we are in America. If you are different, put what you are. Now we're going to we're going to click on the down arrow. We're going to scroll down to I believe the United States, America, and other. So that's the one you're going to pick: America and other. Then you're going to see this screen, the confirmation, that's what you've selected, and hit enter. Now you'll see the four squares with nothing, because there's no, there's no device attached to it. So you're going to click on the corner, this uh, small, it looks like just a logo in a corner here, it's actually a button. That's where it confuses a lot of people. Uh, then you'll see this menu pop up, uh, this remote playback is here. Uh, live view is here, devices is here, alarm is here, pictures and videos, and configuration. What you're looking for is what's called devices, because you're going to add a device. So you're going to see a blank screen like this. Again, it's confusing. In the top corner, you see something that looks like a, a file folder with a little plus symbol. You're going to click on that. And then there's more choices. Manual adding, scanning, QR code, Wi-Fi configuration, online device, and generate QR code. You are looking for manual adding. Okay, on this screen, you notice a bunch of places to put entries. So that information uh, I should be sending to you if you do not have it. Request it from your installer. But most likely you have it in your received files already. Uh, so on back to the screen. So on the screen, you'll see alias. So what you're going to put in here is the name of your device. You can give it any name. Uh, for this case, uh, I'm going to call it SAS. It's the abbreviation for a location that you know needs this setup. So we're going to call this uh, SAS. That's it. Then you're going to call this registration mode. You're going to click on this little arrow, even though it's grayed out. <clears throat> and it's going to go to where it says IP slash domain. You're going to click on that. And now some of the fields have changed to enter that information in correctly. Once you enter the information that has been provided to you correctly, check for any typos. Now that it's correct, you're going to hit this little, it looks like a diskette in the corner, which is actually the symbol for save. And if everything went well, you should see a new thing on the bottom that says start live view with three dots there. Just click anywhere on there and you should see the live view start. Uh, it's asking me to say we say no thanks that's my password keeper uh, ignore that part okay so now that the video has started 
you'll probably see uh, the four-way view. This, uh, this device has more than four cameras, so you're going to click on the view change on, this, on the bottom or near the bottom. Uh, you see where my mouse is. There's different choices for different screen layouts. So you can click on uh, a nine-way or a sixteen-way, and you see the screen changes accordingly. And it should be that easy to set up the app. So now, if you're from a single view, or if any of these view, if you click on them, double-click, they go bigger, and then you can swipe. Put your finger across and they will change from camera to camera as you see here or you can go back down uh, to the view area and you can click on the four way again the nine way again 16 again and at any time you can click on one individual box and it'll go bigger again and then you can start swiping left or right again so it's pretty easy to navigate. You can turn the phone sideways to see things in a different view. I'll show you that now. That matches the new layout of your phone. So again, you can click on any of these views. They'll go larger. Uh -huh. So. I am using this on my computer right now, so you'll see it maybe slightly different. Now that we're back to the vertical position, uh, and you found and looked at the views that you wanted, to log out of the app, just hit the back button. And it'll ask you to confirm if you're going to log out. You hit confirm, and now you are logged out. To log back in, either you know where your app is, or you can do the search. and. and EMS7000, and you see the icon pops up. I click on it. So as long as you know where the icon is or know how to search for it, the app should automatically open up in the view of your device. There is ways to select all of the devices or to add multiple devices. So if you need to have multiple devices, let me know, and we can make you another video for that, or I can come visit you and... Uh, install them accordingly. More advanced videos for playback, record, search, snapshots, and notifications will be available soon. So that should wrap up the tutorial on how to set up the NVMS 7000 app. And uh, if you have any trouble, let me know via email, text, or phone, and I'll be happy to help. Thanks. Catch you next time.